Hi, I'm John Titsworth from Excalibur Firearms, and I'm here today to talk to you about aluminum baffles and uh, how they hold up over time. One of the things that uh, some of the silencer companies over the years have done is they have not anodized their baffles. And what anodizing does is it strengthens the aluminum, builds an oxide layer on the outside of the, the aluminum so that it's more resistant to uh, corrosion, etc. So, one of the things I want to show you first of all to start with is going to be a aluminum baffle that's not been anodized. And this is a regular in the white 7075T6 baffle. It's not been anodized. The, uh, the difference in anodizing is not very much money actually. It doesn't cost that much extra money to anodize a baffle, but some of the manufacturers don't like to do it. I've actually seen manufacturers say that the, the anodizing of baffles causes them to be louder. Well, at least in our studies with our baffle, uh, which, is, which at this time is the quietest K baffle in the world, does not suffer from this uh, supposed element. However, baffles that do not get anodized, that get used over time, eventually corrode. And anything that corrodes breaks down and loses tensile strength because it's not as strong based on its shape anymore. Um, as you can see from the photographs that you're looking at right now, some baffles get eaten up rather rapidly. One of the things that causes this is the fact that gunpowder combustion combines water and the byproducts of the gunpowder and it makes an acid and that acid eats aluminum and as time goes by an uh, unanodized baffle gets destroyed and it gets weakened and uh, it's uh, a silencer that's very easy to rectify it's very simple all you do is anodize your baffle with type 3 hard coat anodizing which is, uh, doesn't cost the manufacturer very much money uh, but it's a necessary process to protect your baffles from the inevitable erosion, corrosion, and destruction of the stack. And this is John Titsworth at Excalibur Firearms. Thank you for watching.